Hi, I wanted to give everyone a bit of a heads up on a new series I'm starting, new design series. It's my power supply spin-off I've been mentoring numerous times uh, in the previous bench, uh, battery powered bench power supply video series and on the forum and uh, Twitter and various other places I've mentioned that um, I'm going to be working on this bit of a spin-off uh, project. In fact, it actually predates the um, bench uh, battery powered uh, power supply by a long time. So I'm going to start on that. So this will be part one. There won't be any detailed technical info in here. I just wanted to uh, show you what I'm actually going to do. Now, what it is, is um, I uh, back in 2009 or so, I had the thought that it'd be nice to have a little power supply you could take with you and work on those little projects or hacks or whatever you're doing you know out in the field wherever you are with your laptop right you're working on a microcontroller project you need to power the thing you got your laptop with you but you don't have a little bench power supply you can take with you and i thought well why don't you convert a usb port into a power supply and it seem like a really good idea and you know a lot of people do that a lot of people have done it you know they hook 3.3 uh, volt regulators directly onto the uh, USB connector and that's fine and dandy but I wanted a proper variable power supply with knobs and a current and voltage readout and things like that and I knew it wasn't going to be high power you know it's limited to the 2.5 watts on the USB port but hey two and a half watts can power you know a decent amount of projects these days especially a lot of the um, stuff I'm working on it's you know, it's more than enough so I thought I'll do a USB lab power supply and that's what I started on and ta-da USB lab power supply the micro supply USB lab power supply it's got voltage and current readouts it's got dual knobs on it the USB input and the outputs and Sorry, don't get all excited. This is not a finished product. It's one of my prototypes. And I'll show you some of the others. Uh, well, one of the others. Um, you'll, I uh, designed this one back in 2009. It was a uh, design to, if it looks very similar to my microcurrent, it's no surprise because it was designed around the uh, same time. Hence, I designed it into the same case and things like that. It's got the same red front panel and it's got the uh, binding posts on the top and things like that. So that was also a dual readout with the buttons. That was my first one. This is another more uh, modern one. This was done in uh, 2010. So it's been sitting around for um, quite some time. And I'll plug it in and actually uh, show you what's going on here. Here we go. Got my USB cable and uh, it plugs in and uh, yeah, you can just adjust the voltage there. It, it, it switches between the uh, set voltage and the actual red voltage. So if you turn it down in 50 millivolt steps, there it is, it drops down and uh, then it reads the uh, and same thing with the current as well. You can choose your constant uh, set current and then it actually switches back and measures the um, set current. Very simple. and. It's uh, isolated as well, so you can put them in uh, a series and create split supplies and things like that. Very handy, but like I said, not a finished design. I was never really happy with uh, you know either of these, the direction they were going, the uh, price of them, uh, some component selections, some logistic issues. I thought it was too big to slip into a notebook carry case and you know stuff like that. So I've decided that recently I will redesign it from scratch and I'll start a new series on how I'm going to design a USB lab power supply. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, follow along and uh, no, I'm not going to stop work on the uh, battery powered bench power supply. That's still ongoing. Um, trust me, I've got a few uh, uh, major steps to that. I've got to relay out the board before I can do another video and stuff like that. So that will be uh, going on at the same time. So that will eventually happen. Don't worry, hasn't been abandoned. Um, but I'm going to do this one as well. It's pretty uh, simple, nothing complex. So this one might actually come out before as a, as a kit. I plan on uh, selling this thing. Um, so it should, uh, because it's uh, simple, it should uh, come out um, sooner than the battery powered 
bench power supply. Anyway, it should be fun. A USB lab power supply. Let me know in the comments, on the forum, wherever, if you think this is a neat idea. Do you want one? And uh, what features you would like to see in it. But uh, I've already got an idea of how, of what features it's gonna have, how it's gonna be packaged, everything else. So um, I'm basically gonna follow that design, but I'm keen to hear people's input on the concept and the idea of a USB uh, power supply, like this one, lab power supply. And you know, maximum voltage, maximum current, and interface and things like that. So should be a fun and interesting project. Hope you follow along. Catch you next time.